today I'm flying Japan Airlines first class suites all the way over to Tokyo. I have the entire cabin to myself for the mammoth 14 hour 7,000 mile journey. Join me and experience one of the most luxurious ways to fly. From the hotel style bed, complete with a choice of mattress, seven course Japanese tasting menu, vintage champagne and of course caviar. Oh, and I'd just like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. With that, let's pick up with me on the ground in Chicago, Illinois. Hello there and welcome back to the channel. You join me here at Chicago International Airport where we're beginning our journey on Japan Airlines. So let's head out of the cold and into the terminal and check in and get past all the mad documentation I need to do at the minute to fly over to Japan. Right then, all checked in, got my ticket just here. Now it's time to go through TSA. Now, usually you do actually get one world priority security here, but I've finally got my TSA pre come through. So let's go and make use of that, shall we? A few minutes later. Right then, all through TSA. I tell you what, TSA pre is a total game changer. Anyway, with that said, let's go and find out what lounges we have on offer today. I believe it's just the American one. So we are down Concourse H and K. Bonus points if you can recognize which famous movie this is from. Now I have actually been through Chicago many times before. In fact, you probably most recently would recognize it from my trip on Iberia. And what a trip that was. I think the lounge is literally just up here. Now I don't want to fill up too much because I have flown Japan Airlines sometime before. This was pre-pandemic and back then the food was unbelievable. Admiral's Lounge. It's uh, actually a lot quieter than I usually find it in here, so that's perfect. So I can actually relax a little bit. Boarding is not until 11.55. I can actually see the tip of the jowl tail just over there. A few minutes later. Right then, lounge all done. I mean, it's nothing special. Usually speaking, you would get the flagship lounge, which comes with flagship dining, and it provides a sort of true first class experience, um, but that's for some reason still closed. Given that we're two years into the pandemic, that just seems a bit mad, but. That's occurred to me and is of course the restrictions on going into Japan at the minute are so severe is that literally there's probably around 50 people in total to get on board this 777 which can hold over 300. Really surreal. Perfect, thank you so much. Right, it's time to go get on board. Let's get down that jet bridge and see how busy the cabin is. I actually don't know whether I've got the whole cabin to myself or not, let's see. And just before we get on board, here's a quick word from today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace make it super easy for you to set up and host a website. And no, you don't have to know complicated coding. Squarespace really have this down, handling it all from your domain name through to the design, hosting, social media linking, and even your search engine optimization. The best bit is Squarespace offering you a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just head over to Squarespace squarespace.com forward slash track trendy and use the coupon code track trendy. Thanks again Squarespace for making this video possible. I'm warmly greeted and shown over to my seat one alpha in the empty first class cabin. Well welcome on board. Let me stir my bag and we'll have a look around. Unlike many first class cabins, there are overhead bins on JAL's 777s, which I like. Storage is important, especially on these super long haul flights. As if by magic, as soon as I settle back into my rich leather seat, I'm poured a delicious glass of champagne. JAL serve a punchy 2013 Cristal on the ground, which is impressive as they'll be taxed handsomely for this by the US. I'm offered a newspaper, which I gladly accept. 
This is such a cool touch and rarely happens anymore. Yeah, it's more of a novelty, but hey, I like the old school feel. With that, it's time to get my seatbelt fastened as the jet bridge detaches and the safety video is run in both Japanese and English. What a civilized way to consume such a video, sipping a near $400 a bottle of the good stuff. As I drain the crystal, we finally reach the runway, and within moments we're hurtling down it and take off into the Illinois afternoon sky, bound for Asia. Flight time today is not far off 14 hours, covering a distance of nearly 7,000 miles. Plenty of time to enjoy one of the most comfortable places in the sky. It's not long before we level out at 38,000 feet, and I'm offered a folio which hosts my menus for today's voyage in the skies. I'm impressed to find an array of both Japanese and Western dishes, though I'll be indulging primarily in the Japanese tasting menu curated by Michelin star chefs, specifically for Jal. After my order is taken, I feel it's time for a quick look around my aptly named Sky Suite. There are just six of these in the cabin, spread out in a one-to-one -one config. If you travel together, perhaps the middle suites would be more suited. There's an electronically adjustable privacy screen between these, allowing these to be transformed into a more sociable setting. Talking of controls, they're everywhere. The seats can be adjusted in every way imaginable, allowing for a super comfy ride. There's hidden power outlet to each seat too, so no excuse to arrive with drained devices. I also love the buddy dine option, so you can dine opposite a loved one. Talking of dining, it's time for food. The tray table folds out from directly in front of me and is promptly adorned with a crisp tablecloth. I make it top up time for the Cristel, so a fresh glass is poured for me. If you think this is a punchy champagne, on flights departing Japan, you'll get a 2007 Salon, which retails north of $900 a bottle. As I sip at my cheaper but still outstanding Cristel, I'm served my amuse-bouche of orange wrapped in ham and a creme fraiche blini. I'm presented with a first-class wipe, which is really the only pandemic adaption I notice on today's service. I sure miss those warm towels. My table is promptly set as my next course draws closer. I opt for the only Western choice today, caviar. It is tradition in first class after all. This is served with the usual suspects of creme fraiche and blinis, along with some salmon tartar sauce. It was delicious, of course, and I polished off the whole jar. Prior to the start of my Japanese culinary adventure, I'm offered a snack from this basket. I feel this a very bizarre interval, but I will say the almond and cheese snack was incredibly Moorish. Perhaps not the usual Michelin star compliment. Right, the chopsticks have arrived and my Kazara course has begun. Usefully, I'm provided with a map of this course, which is most appreciated. It really was quite the journey around a variety of tastes and sensations. For me, all were tasty, aside from the dried radish with spiced cod roe. The consistency just didn't do it for me. Next up, Oan, a Japanese clear soup with poached lobster. This is delicate and delicious, but brief. Now, apologize my pronunciation, it's time for mazoki and azukibaki, basically tuna sashimi and jellied seaweed with salmon roe. The sashimi was sublime and one of my favourites. I can't say I was sold on the jellied seaweed though. It's hanmono time, delicious bamboo shoots with seasoned rice, accompanied by melt-in-your-mouth braised beef, concluded with a miso soup. For a brief break, I cleansed my palate with a queen of blue-green tea served in a wine bottle and wine glass. Before, of course, sampling the whiskey. Jal used to serve the coveted Habiki 17 before stocks ran dry. Now the whiskey, by request, is the blender's choice. It's delicious, but not as precious, though still will set you back 300 bucks a bottle. To close my culinary journey, I opt for kanji, which looks to be most strange, but surprisingly incredible. Green plums served with Shiba Funi, which is essentially a sugared ginger cracker. Wow, to those of you saying all I have is steak on a plane, this was quite the switch up. I loved it. As we glide over the barren landscapes of the Canadian far north, let's get changed into my PJs and head over to the loo for a review. The loo is impeccably clean, featuring a legit Japanese toilet, of course to be expected on board the Japanese carrier. Amenities are well stocked with pricey Clau de Pal serums, a feature I love is the changing platform, which folds down so you don't have to risk touching the floor. Right, let's do it. 
much better. The PJs are quite thick, but breathable and extremely comfortable. After a quick freshen up, I hang my clothing up, which is stored for me by the FAs as I head back to my seat. The galley has a small bar area set up to cater to my taste. Chocolate and whiskey, of course, how divine. Such a lovely and thoughtful touch. After sampling the chocolates back at my seat, it's time to get my bed made up in two alpha. You even get a choice of mattress. FYI, I went for the soft one. Let's take the long walk over to sleep then. I'm pleased to report back, it's like laying on a cloud. The bedding itself is super high quality, soft and importantly breathable. Needless to say, I slept very well all the way over the international dateline. The next day. I awake some hours later, feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, and importantly, edging ever closer to Japan. A new day though does mean that it's time for more food. I opt to start with the zucchini potato soup and a sparkling water. This was rich, creamy, and full of flavor. To accompany this, I select the pork cutlet rice bowl along with the Japanese chicken skewers. Firstly, the skewers. These are juicy and flavorful, reminding me of Tokyo street food. The rice bowl is rather filling, but again, full of flavor. To close, I go for the haagen vanilla ice cream, garnished with fresh strawberry and a cup of coffee. Unfortunately, the espresso machine is not working, but the filter coffee still offers the desired caffeine hit. With food out of the way, let's try out the provided Bose headphones and IFE system. I will say the IFE is somewhat dated, but offers a half-decent selection of movies and even live TV. Anyway, I think I've been in my PJs long enough. Let's head over to the loo for a quick change. A freshen up later and I'm back feeling a million bucks. It's amazing the difference having this amount of space and amenities have on these ultra long haul flights. Back at my seat, the lovely FAs have left me a gift along with a steam mask. We've just got to give this a try. After not understanding any of the instructions, and once the packet is open, it instantly heats up, providing perhaps one of the most relaxing sensations I've had in flight before. Much, much later. Legit, this is a game-changing product, and I need more of these in my life. Seeing as I enjoyed this so much, the FA came over and gave me a JAL sticker and a 10-pack of face masks. One happy boy here. I'm also served Jao's signature drink, a ritual I'm sure many of you will share the nostalgia of. This is delicious, refreshing, but also very sugary. Given that we're about to start our descent, let's boot the slippers off and get my Tims back on. Within a few minutes, the fastened seatbelt sign is illuminated and we descend into a particularly cloudy Tokyo afternoon. I have to say, I'm ecstatic to be arriving back into Japan, one of my all-time favorite countries even more so upon landing when I glance the famous cherry blossom, prominent at this time of the year. It also dawns on me how this is up there as one of the longest flights I've taken to date. Crazy really when you think I've been in the sky some 14 hours. Thank you very much, have a wonderful trip. Thank you guys. See you again soon, yeah? Thank you. Well, it is welcome to Japan. Goodness me, what a trip that was. As always, Japan Airlines never disappoints. Thanks once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash trendy to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.